Peg one is at the far end in the wide waters, uh, down to peg 31, which is the first peg past the pub, uh, past the boat, sorry. And then in the other direction, peg 32 is under the motorway bridge, up to peg 42 downstream. Catch a pipe, please don't go walking with it, return it to your own peg. Um, and no upstream fishing um, within reason, you know, a, a yard or two is fine. Paying out uh, top three in the pools, 95, 76, 57. Uh, and top four in the super pools, 182, 65, and 50. Um, there are three match zones, which means there's a maximum of 15 points available if you win the zone in the league. Uh, these are zone one, zone two, and zone three. One uh, is up in the white waters, two's in the middle here, three down below. Um, I'm gonna pay half sections in the pools, um, and you'll get uh, four pounds times the amount of people in section, so 28 if there's uh, seven of you, 24 if there's six of you. Uh, so the money's spread right about. Um, scales are here, 14, 15, 28, 29, 32, 33. We'll write your names down. Please don't all dip your hand in until the person before has had their name written down. Charlie. Right, this is my first course fishing match I've ever done in my life, apart from the odd friendly against a mate. Um, there's 30 anglers, no, 40 anglers, I think, and I've drawn peg 33 on the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal under the Stokes Sub Hamden Angling Association. <sighs> and that's that fear of failure kicking in. Of course, all that is complete nonsense. It's all up there. It's just anxiety. That's probably the real reason why I haven't competed. The aim of this video is to try and convince myself and others that actually match angling doesn't require this sort of guru status or quality of angler and anyone can take part in it and learn quite quickly. So here I am, peg number 33, right next to the motorway. It's not a peg I've fished before. It's quite treacherous, it's taken me about 25 minutes just to set up my seat box. Um, put the bank stick in, it seems that I've got very deep water in front of me. One thing I haven't got though, which everyone else seems to have, is ripple. I was saying that, there's some bubbles coming up just in front of me there, which bodes well, and a nice reed bed um, to offer fish some cover. It's a bit of an unknown entity because the match anglers cut back the swims in preparation for the match. Worth bearing in mind that if it wasn't for these matches taking place, these swims wouldn't get cut out. And before you know it, fishing would disappear. So that's my three metre width. It's a little float. Size 20 hook, one and a half pound line. Anxiety levels dropped after getting a few fish in the net, a few roach, rub, perch. Um, but it's slow, and I know some people up on further up the canal are going to be catching tench, bigger perch. So I'm sticking it all out in the middle line at the moment because I'm not going to win the match catching little roach and rud. I'm not quick enough. Chop lob worm and caster, putting a ball out every sort of 10 15 minutes size of a golf ball, a 15 foot, three pound line and it's a 2BB float and I've got um, about two inches of worm on a size 14 foot. And these are my worm scissors, it's chopping a lot easier. It's very slow out in the middle um, so I might go back to the inside line. Right, it's exactly halfway through the match but all I've managed to pick up bigger than a couple of ounces is one skimmer bream which is probably about eight or ten. Um, I don't know how the others are doing, but it always looks like they're not catching, but they are, because you're always watching your float. It's been really windy and rainy at times, so hats off to them managing to hold a pole out. I couldn't. Not that I own one. 45 minutes left, and the fishing has got harder and harder as the day has progressed. Um, I guess that's the food going in. Um, enjoyed it. The only thing I've been bucked out by is where to fish. Literally counting the seconds throughout the whole of the day. I don't normally do when I go fishing. Um, switching from fishing on the inside to the outside, you don't get a bite, you're just constantly clock watching to see whether you ought to be switching back to the other and vice versa. Caught with indecision, I guess, is how I put it. It's been good fun. Okay, let's go for it. 
Peg 42. Going to weigh that leaf as well. <laughs> four pounds, 15 ounces. I'm guessing they are doing it all in. Thank you. Well done, that's a bad weight to do. Grab that off, mate. What do you get when you've got a pipe in your kettle? You had the pike, I didn't see a pike. One pound, four ounces. All on bread? I've got bread on there, yeah. I got a lot there. We've probably got most fish today. Nine pounds. Nine pounds two. Yeah. All right. Go on, go on. And you got a couple of bank. Nice perch in there. Yeah. Three pounds, one ounce. Your neighbour's got three pounds. Oh, oh, three of them. Three and a half, four. Four pounds, is four it? Four pounds exactly. Thank you. Four pounds, 12. Four pounds, 12. Oh, a couple of skimmers. Five pounds, three ounces. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Seven pounds. Well done. Good work too. Yeah. Okay. All oh, the fish were up here. Oh, five pounds, three. Okay, that's it. Wonderful. I'll take a picture for you. Six pounds. Six two. Two. Well done. Yes, well done. Nice rod. Brilliant. That's it. For a bonus. Yeah, you got the four me there, right? I think so. I think so. It's at ten, didn't I? Ten pound five. Ten pound ten five. Ten five. Well done. Yeah, well done. Okay, thank yeah, you. Nice one. So there you go, fourth in my section. I'm well pleased with that and just go to show that um, all those anxieties about entering matches were completely unfounded. Um, and I think, uh, I'm not sure what to take away from that match. I think I probably could have caught a lot more skimmer bream than I did. I just got to try and work out how. <laughs> it's weird um, because all the match anglers uh, all course anglers think I'm a fly fisherman, all the fly fishermen think I'm a course fisherman. Don't know what sea anglers think, but you get my point. It's uh, not any of these things, I just like fishing. Um, section A by default with 515. Where is it? Steve Fisher. Yeah, that's about. B section by default with £12.8 was Glenn Radford. Well done, Glenn. Uh, C section um, was the section winner with £15.13, also fourth in the Super Bowl was Neil Purchase. Well done, Neil. Well done. D section by default with £9.2 was Steve Kedge. Well E section, outright section win with ten pounds six with Dan Squire. And F section, uh, nine pound two, that was an outright section win, Lee Stanley. Thank you very much. Uh, third on the day, £17.10, 122 quid was John Martin. Uh, second on the day, £17.13, 158 quid was me. Uh, first on the day, £21.11, 195 pounds was my dad. Thank you. Uh, round two, uh, back here in two weeks' time. Um, I'll put it up in the next day or two. Thank you very much. Thanks, mate.